everybody, and welcome to another chapter in the long legacy of the Big Ten Conference. It's a championship game in the new expanded Big Ten, and there are high stakes here, not just a conference championship, but potentially positioning themselves for one at the national championship with an automatic bid. This is a matchup we've all been waiting for. Two teams ranked in the top five, battling for a precious conference title, but also pointing to something even bigger, the college football playoff. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on the second ranked team, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. Now that we've talked long enough, Kirk, let's get this game going. team out there getting ready and this is it the battle for the conference championship trophy and the return man decides to signal fair catch first down play call how aggressive will it be And the wideout goes in motion. Takes the handoff and tests the left side. Breaks loose at the 40. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Steps out of bounds, but not before a huge game on the ground. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job on this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. It's a solid run. Gives the offense a first down and a new set of downs. Going to run it. It's Finley. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just one and pounding up quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Getting set. Here's second down. Off play action. He's looking to throw. The pocket breaking down. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. Boy, how about the push up front by the big fellas here? And when you can get pressure like this, that's what separates good defenses from great defenses. And you think back to the Michigan teams, when they've been exceptional, they've had defensive line play just like that. So after consecutive losses, they got to come up with something here on third and very long. Quarterback, pre snap adjustments now for this defense. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Plenty of time to scan the field. Finally flings it to the left side. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. The Ducks pick up enough yards to get a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw it from the red zone. That's caught. It's low. They bring him down at the five. Solid gain, though, in the completion. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And he's brought down, but hold on, there's a flag on the play. Offense will have to overcome the holding penalty now. Ready? 
back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. Looking for a gap. It's Thompson. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Chris down here inside a 10-yard line. These are tough yards to come by. Positive yards. Good push inside there by that offensive line. Second and goal for the offense. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. They'll change the pre-snap look now. Back to throw. It's more. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. The offense facing a third and goal from a long way away. Offense looking to throw the ball. Contact as he threw it. Intercepted in the end zone. Not much on the return, but they snuff out the drive with the takeaway. Well, this just goes to show you everybody makes mistakes. This quarterback is looked and viewed as one of the top quarterbacks in the entire country. But even he makes a poor decision, puts the ball into coverage, and he throws an interception, and you're early in the game. So it's first and ten inside the five. How does the coaching staff play this? So they run the ball to get some breathing room, or will they trust the QB and be more aggressive here? Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka and Tyro Wheatley and Leroy Hort. Man, so many good backs have come through Ann Arbor. He's running out of time here. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw a good pass rush there on first down. And you got to love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. Second down play coming up. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Looking for his big tight end. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Looking to throw it deep. Caught way downfield for a huge game. And he goes down after a huge game. This offense is clicking now. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. And here's the handoff. And a decent game there before the defense brings him down. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid game here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. The game makes it second and medium. They'll test the right side here. They tackle him, but the game moves the ball to the 36. Well, the scouting report on this running back was that he is an elite ball carrier, and he is proving to be that here early in this game. These first few carries, not only the strength, but the quickness and acceleration to get upfield and get positive yards on display. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. There's a wide open receiver complete. That's a solid game to move the sticks as the first quarter clock winds down.
Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. Handoff here from the shotgun. They get the senior with the ground, but it's a nice run there. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of it. The Wolverines line it up with first and goal. Makes a quick catch. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Here's a run to the left looking for the touchdown. And he'll be brought down. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. you got a real shot to come up with a stop here, whether they run it or throw it. You get a stop here and maybe hold them to three points. The tenth play of this drive is a third down and goal. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And the pass is incomplete, but the defender a little too aggressive here. That should result in a first down. That penalty sets up the offense with a first and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Wolverines. Methodical but effective, Kirk. Probably one of the most impressive drives we've seen in a conference championship game. Hey, I have to agree with you. Long drives like that are like a great painting. Slowly layering all the intricate facets until you have a masterpiece completed. That drive was put together in the same fashion. Just masterful execution on that drive. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. This one will be fair caught. Yeah. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. The last possession ended in a dreaded red zone interception. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly error. Hit as he released it. And it's incomplete, even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Incomplete, so it's second down and 10. Receivers now getting some new assignments before the snap. To throw. It's more. Snags with the throw. Anytime you have a chance to get this wide receiver isolated, to get the ball in his hands, you do it. short they'll try to throw for caught over the middle it's Dickey he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down and you just continue to see the chemistry between these two and they told us yesterday in our production meeting they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months and man it's starting to really pay off he's become his security blanket for the quarterback and especially on third down get him the ball off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Short connection to the tight end here. He's taken down, but that's a nice gain. They'll spot the ball now at the 35. Boy, nice completion here by this Oregon offense to be able to show you it's not just about the quarterback's ability to run. Often you associate that with that Oregon quarterback, right? That dual threat guy, guy that can run it. Do not forget about their ability to throw the football out in Eugene. 
Think about Darren Thomas, the career that he had. He started for a few years, took his team all the way to the national championship, made some big throws, and Justin Herbert. Of course, enough said, we see it every NFL Sunday, what he can do. Four-year starter for the Ducks. I'm still seeing these Ducks quarterbacks being able to throw the football. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Looking for a gap, it's Thompson. Well, the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Quarterback appears to be changing the play. Back to pass. It's Moore. And he fires the football to the right side. And it's going to be incomplete. Defense had a great chance for the pick. Couldn't come up with it. Fourth down now. Time for perhaps one more play before we hit the two-minute warning. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50 plus. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. Looks to his left and makes the completion. They bring him down after a short gain there. That completion makes it second and medium. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. And it's good for a first down with 36. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. Looking to throw it on first down. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. You see more and more offenses in college football going to three receivers and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out that you can take advantage of. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Catch made across the middle by the running back. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. And the Wolverines will have to kick it away. He's on looking for a solid punt here. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. And the 
Bucks' powerful offense is back on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. Quarterback changing the play now at the line. Back to pass. It's Moore. The pass rush closing in. He's hit right as he throws it. Incomplete. Second down play coming up for this offense. the snap quarterback looking to throw makes the grab it's low receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch they get to the line in a hurry here for this third down back now goes in motion defense will have to adjust Third down play here out of the shotgun. Caught over the middle. It's low. Tackle number 35. Good enough for a first down. The Ducks come to the line to run the hurry up. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Oh, the pass is picked off. Goes down quickly, but comes up with a nice interception. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive and ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They'll try the right here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Quick throw over the middle. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. Look out, he's got some space. And look at the return after the interception. Sets the offense up in good shape. That offensive coordinator is going to have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline after that throw. You have to be more careful with the football. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Off the play fake on first down. Good throw to the left. And that one's incomplete with just seven seconds left on the clock. That ball just seemed to sail on. You gotta make sure to give the receiver a chance to be able to come down with a catch and bounce because in today's game, man, these receivers make catches like this all the time. And if you put the ball out of bounds, you're not gonna give them that opportunity. Incompletion makes it second down. Play action fake, looking to throw. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And he'll get there. Touchdown, Ducks. So they'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. The PAT puts him up three. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. One more play before they head to the locker room. On first and ten, looking to throw. And here comes a deep shot. It's intercepted. Tried to fire it into a tight window. 
Breaks loose at the 40. Can he take it all the way? Tackled on the return, and that's how we'll end the first half of play. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. The Ducks will kick this away to start the second half. And here's the fair catch by the return man. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They've got to get things going here. Turnovers on back-to-back -back possessions. Looks left and finds his target there. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. That's a nice completion here by this Michigan offense. And when Michigan is really clicking, you think about over the years, they've been efficient within that passing game. Being able to throw the football to complement a very physical running game. Nice play. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Oh, he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before it got to him. That'll bring up second down. Boy, this quarterback is really rolling the dice out here today. Remember, he threw an interception the last time they had the ball. I thought he might learn from that, but instead he comes out throwing it into coverage again, somehow catches a break on this tip ball that this one was an interception. He better tighten up his decision-making. He's going to cost himself a game. A sophomore with a strong tackle there. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. The defense with more pre-snap movement. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. An explosive play. They finally grab him, but the ball moves inside the 25. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. The Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. Takes the handoff. It's Pemby. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. The Wolverines are in the red zone. Secondary up now, trying to jam his receivers. Third down, out of the shotgun. Can't hold on. Good defensive play, brings up a fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. And they will try out the field goal team here. Field goal try, no good. He missed it. Missed chance to tie this game, still down by three. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. Poor kicker. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. Which offense can get it going first? This one has been a struggle so far. Takes the ball and heads to the left. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Short loss in the play. Sets up second and long from the 18. Looking to throw. It's Moore. Looking to set up a screen pass here. 
They're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid game for a first down. Hey, a first down here by this Oregon offense. Nice to see the quarterback and receiver in sync and very efficient. Something that Oregon really prides itself on. As much as you want to think about that quarterback with the ability to run, remember, they can hurt you with their arm as well. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Powers through. They've got him down out near the 40. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally. They can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards. Didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense that they better defend this style of play moving forward. Second down after that run on the previous play. On the handoff, they'll test the right side here. Hits into space at the 50. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. And he finally goes out of bounds after a huge gain on the ground. Nice play. They're finally able to catch him, but a huge chunk play with their running game here. Boy, this guy is a complete package. All he needs is a crease, and once he sees it, boy, he is gone. They're very lucky they were able to bring him down on that carry. And the Ducks looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. Here's the snap, looking to throw. He's got it right near the end zone. And he can't quite get in. They get him down at the one-yard line. It's a second and goal play for the offense. Trying for a touchdown on the right side. And they'll get him down that time. The Ducks come to the line in the hurry up. They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Oregon. But they'll try to add to the lead now for the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He'll call for the fair catch here. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. First down, looking to throw the ball. With the catch, it's Stewart. They get him down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. This defense has got to be aware of these quick throws to these wide receivers. They're lucky he didn't come up with more yards. First down here for this offense. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Boy, really nice throw here to the slot receiver. And I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. Looking to make a big play downfield. Wow, a third pick tonight by the QB. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. And that last touchdown drive, they just pounded it away with the running game. Let's see if they can do it again. Breaking free at midfield. Breaks clear, end zone ahead. They tackle him all the way down to the 15-yard line. This offense is knocking on the door now. Well, that's the kind of run that makes an offensive line coach very, very happy. And also, will boost the confidence of the big guys up front. And when you have a confident offensive line, you got more and more opportunity to hit big plays. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? 
So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. Motion now from the tight end. On the run, it's Penley. It's a short game, but look at that defense swarm to the football. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Grab behind the line. It's Dickey. Touchdown, Ducks. Still no answer for this offensive machine. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. And yeah, the point after is good. Pickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And the fair catch signaled for and taken. Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. He'll take a deep shot here. It's incomplete. He was lucky to avoid a fourth interception in this game. Second down now. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. We're going to pass here on second down. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. That is outstanding defense to be able to leverage this quarterback. That is a tough thing to do. This guy's as fleet-footed as any quarterback in the country. And to be able to bring him down for a loss like that is a major accomplishment. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Looking for the wideout. And it's complete downfield. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. And the Wolverines looking to use the up-tempo offense here. Well, this defense has played well with a letdown there. A little too comfortable with this big lead at the moment, maybe. Yeah, and I, what I love to see is this offense has not given up. This game has not gone the way they had hoped, but here they are taking a few swings late in this game. This one ends up working out, and now let's see if they can put another play or two together and get the points on the board. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. That sack makes it third down. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Grab down the middle. It's Stewart. And they wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down marker. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. He's got it. And that is enough for a first down. They've got him, but they convert on fourth down. And the drive keeps going. Just great execution here on this fourth down to keep this drive alive. What I love is the accuracy from the quarterback and a good job by the receiver knowing where that route needed to be to be able to catch the ball and pick up the first down. Oh, it's dropped off the tip by the defense there. It's going to bring up second down. Boy, this quarterback is living on the edge. Remember, he threw an interception in the last drive. Thought he might learn from that. Instead, he throws the ball right back into coverage. I thought he threw another pick. He better change the way he's playing the game or he's going to cost his team a game. Looking to throw again. Tight end makes the grab. Football comes out. Looks like the offense able to recover it there. 
You know, the offense catches a break here, lucky to jump on the ball after coughing it up. He's lucky that his other teammates had some good awareness. The Wolverines looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game to get to a third down. Just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable with that offensive line, and they come through for you. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. And that's incomplete. Even on a first down pass attempt, he felt heavy pressure. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. And the QB will try again on second and 10. Here's a screen pass to the running back. He's tackled, but down at the nine yard line. Defense getting pushed around. We've reached the two minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? Quarterback in the shotgun here on third down. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there and it brings up fourth down now. Well, they decide to throw the ball here on third down and short. I really thought the easy thing is just run the quarterback or hand it off, pick up the first down, keep this drive alive, and get six points on the board. Trying for a fourth down completion. Pass caught. Can he get in? He brought down just short of the end zone. It'll be first and goal from the one. It's a quarterback draw here. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Michigan. Man, I love this. Chris, I don't think they're going to have a chance to come all the way back. But here we are, under two minutes to go. And they continue to show some fight. And then, you know what? Who knows? Maybe you cover an onside kick and you get right back in it. Now they line up to kick the extra point. The extra point is good. They cut the lead to 10, 24-14. line up here and go for the onside kick. And the hand seam able to make the crucial recovery. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. This game is not over yet. You see how the offense plays it. They'd love to choose some clock here, but can't get too complacent. And they'll just try to run some clock here, keeping it on the ground. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. And the Ducks will come to the line to crank up the tempo. And someone moved just a bit too early, and it cost him five yards. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Now it's second down here. And the tailback's got it again. He's taken down, but that's a nice game. They'll spot the ball now at the 35. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. It's a strong run. Keeps the drive going. First down now. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball, attacking you downhill. When offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Quarterback making some changes at the line. Looking downfield, it's Moore. Tries to get it to the running back. Looks to the left, and it's complete. Touchdown, Oregon. This offense cannot be stopped. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the 
extra point up and good. Makes it a three-score game, up 17 here in the fourth. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Returner decides to fair catch this. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. This has been a rough game for these guys. Not much left to do but play for pride. Nice grab. It's more. Oh, what a move goes right through the tackle. He's got room to run now. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. And offense gets a fresh set of downs. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Looking to scramble. He's going for a big play downfield. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. You got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. Offense getting set. It's second down. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And they've got him at the floor, but a big gain in that catch and run. Wolverines come to the line with first and goal. Get set, get set. Another pick. Wow, that's the fourth tonight. I'm mean, attacking right there, but that is a turnover. Well, that interception really about cost them the game here. And I understand, you got to do everything you can to get back in it, down by a couple scores. But the interception, for the most part, seals the deal for the defense. Takes the ball and heads to the left side. And the game will pick up the first down, tackled at the 22. Boy, this offense's execution has been on point all game long, but especially in this fourth quarter. They're getting better and better, and this defense seems to have just quit out there. First and ten now for the offense. Tight end goes in motion. Play action here on first down. Quick throw to the left side. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Chris, I'm kind of surprised they're still taking shots downfield. They got a big lead. We're in the fourth quarter. Run the ball, get out of dodge, keep everybody healthy. Got it. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. They'll run the option. And they finally get him down, but the quarterback keeper there picks up a big chunk and a first down. The offense will spend a timeout to stop the clock. 21 seconds remaining. The Ducks have first and 10 here. Looks like the QB is changing the play at the line. Send the back in motion. Looking to pass. It's Moore. Receiver makes the catch. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Boy, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. And completion makes it second and short. And the quarterback dropping back. It's an out route, the catch made. Good enough for first down yardage. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. First down, looking to throw the football. Running out of time in the pocket. Incomplete, just three seconds left. Time for one more play. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Ready, 
They're going to run it. And he's brought down, and that should do it for the ballgame. It's always a special year, but after all the work you put in, you can call yourselves champions of the Big Ten. And now with the playoff spot locked up, 